Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences once again. I am Sajad Mustafa and today we are going to automate email sending um, from Outlook, right? And we are going to use Python for it. So first thing first, we have imported um, client from Win32 as Win32 and we will be working with it, right? So what I need is I need an Outlook uh, application installed, installed in my computer. So I have already installed it. I have logged in to into this um, application by using my email address, right? And I also have a dummy email address. So from one email address, I will send the email and on other email address, I will receive the email and I'll show it to you, right? So first thing is I have, uh, I have imported this library that will be quite helpful for us. And then we'll say, let's say Outlook app equals to win32 dot dispatch. Yeah, dispatch. And here we are going to mention that we are we want to dispatch the outlook dot application, right? So we are going to dispatch this outlook application that is inside our our windows uh, with the uh, uh, with with our our Python code, right? So Win32, what it actually does is it it allows you to uh, communicate the Python with your uh, your applications with your window applications then um, okay so the next thing is we'll say outlook ns equals to we'll say outlook app dot get namespace so here we are going to namespace we are going to bind the uh, API, the Outlook Messenger API, M API stands for Messenger API. Uh, we are going to bind them. So let me run. Okay, it's fine. Now the next thing is we'll say mail item equals to Outlook app dot create item, right? And since it is uh, a tuple, so we'll say create item zero. And then the next thing is we'll say mail item dot subject. What should be the subject of that email, right? So we'll say, um, let's say just testing, right? And what should be the body format? Right, so uh, we are making it equals to one. One is is like um, you know unispecified format. Two uh, is for I don't know maybe HTML. I'm not sure about that. And three for some other format. I mean uh, you you can check it out. Right, and then here we'll say mail item dot body equals to. Okay, so here we are going to type the email that we are we want to send right so we'll say hello how are you i am sending this email for testing purpose right full stop right so here's the body of of our email <coughs> sorry and the next thing is we'll say mail item dot sender. So who is the sender of this email? Here we want to add the sender. So in our case, let's say our sender is contact at prism soft dot AI, right? So this is our sender and then um, to whom we are going to send the email or in other words, you can say who is our receiver. So here we'll say the receiver is Sajad dot Mustafa at AISCIEN AI Sciences dot IO. Right? Great. Looks fine. Okay. So the next thing is um, we want to say mail item dot display. Right? So that it will display upon uh, upon this application. Right? And the next thing is we'll say mail item dot 
save, right? See, this is a complete process of writing an email. What you do is you, you first of all, uh, let's say this, um, this line of code is doing what you do by clicking on create button, like new email button or create button, right? So the next thing is you add a subject, you select a format sometimes, then you write a body of email, then sender, then receiver, and then the email is being displayed on your screen. Then when you send it, it, it first goes to draft, right? So right now this dot save uh, takes your email to the draft. And then the last thing is dot send. Yeah, one mistake that I have made is this S is in capital, right? So we have sent the email now, but not yet. I have to run this code. So I'll run it, right? Um, running, running, no error, fine. So we will receive email over here in a while. But before that, let me tell you, if you want to, let's say, send email from one account to, um, let's say, 1000 accounts, all you have to do is you have to write this code inside the loop and that's it, right? So let's say you will say for I in range, um, let's say a thousand or 10,000 or whatever, right? And then you can, uh, let's say you have a list of emails, right? You can, you can play around with this line. Or if you want to send um, email from multiple senders to multiple receivers that, that you can also do, you can, uh, you can write sort of a nested loop for that purpose, right? So, so this will, you know, make a lot of thing easier for you. So we, we come over here, here you can see that the title is, or the, the sub subject is just testing. And here's the email, right? Hello, how are you? I'm sending this email for testing purpose, right? Simple. And if we go to our, our send, um, you know, the, the sender um, party, we go to send emails. Um, here you can see that. Hello, how are you? I'm sending this email for testing purpose, right? You can also see the time. So this is how this is how you can you can automate your Outlook. Uh, also, if you want to automate your your Gmail um, uh, Gmail, uh, e you want to send automate email sending by using Gmail, you can also do that. We already have uh, recorded a video and you can check it out on our on our AI sciences, AI sciences channel. You can check out uh, a few links in description. If you want to pursue your career in artificial intelligence or data science domain, you can check out our website as well. We have a lot of courses, books, blogs, and small videos for you guys that can help you build your career in data science. Thank you very much.